Welcome back to Dixon Does It, and do you have this problem with your fishing poles? I don't know where to keep them. You know, like, you could keep them in a corner, but then they end up all tangled, and and then your kid borrows them, and they end up all over the place, and this one, they, you don't even have a reel on it. But let's, I found a spot to put them. I, like I said, don't just put them in the corner. So we're going to build a little thing here. What I started doing was... This comes down, so I had to like patch in a couple pieces. And then I cut some inch and a half PVC. I'm gonna attach them here to put the rods down in there. So first I gotta drill a hole in here just so I can get a screw in there. And I might have, I'll probably put two screws in there so it doesn't end up doing this. Okay, so let me get that done. Now, if you don't know how to cut PVC pipe, it's pretty simple. You can get a, you know, a handsaw, uh, a, a, what are those called? A reciprocating saw, a sawzall, people call them. You know, get one with a metal blade that has a lot of teeth. It'll go through nice and easy. Use a wood blade, it's just going to like that. Um, I actually have these blue loppers that'll ratchet. You know, that's a work perk. And... You know, it lops right through them, so it's nice. But those are like $250. Another thing about PVC is you don't want to drill through it too fast or else you're going to shatter it. I, I said, well, I want a big hole. Let me use this. So it just smashed it. Uh, so I'm starting off with a smaller blade. And I'm going to work my way. I'm not just going to, like, plow right through it. I do have um, things to make it bigger. But you can start with a small hole and then go to a bigger and then bigger until it's big enough for your drill head, your screw head to get through. Um, if you want it to look professional, you see how they got these red letters on there? This is not a brand plate placement, but you know, that's what they have around here. Anyways, that should be on the back. That way you have nice white things. And you don't want, you don't want these red letters showing because that, that's just janky. So to open my holes up, I used a step bit. It's got little tiny steps and it like kind of drills and makes things bigger. And they're good, it's good for metal, but it works on plastic too. And then after I made my holes bigger, I went back to the small little pilot bit and I went straight through. That way I'm not cracking the plastic when I try to get a screw through there. So my next thing is to grab the tape measure, measure my width, divide it by six, and figure out where my placement is. And then hang it up. All right. So I was putting these up and I, you can see that there's three holes in there, right? Yeah, mistakes were made. So I made, I just made holes willy-nilly, you know, like I didn't realize that two by fours are only so thick. So I had to put a new hole in there, you know, bottom hole, and we'll just call it weight reduction. Screws, drywall screws, because why not, you know? People have them laying around, use them. Um, you can paint these. Um, I would suggest washing it. PVC is usually very staticky and a lot of dirt gets on there and you know it just this is scrap from work so it's not even like good stuff but it's good enough another mistake was i went to go put my kids fishing pole in there and it's not what would you say straight it's got that little trigger on there so that's not going to fit in there if you got fishing poles like that, you might want to go with two inch instead of inch and a half. The rest of them will fit in there. They're all just straight handles. So, oh, and there it is. They're nice and straight. I don't think I need anything up there. I mean, I'm pushing the poles and they, they come back straight. So, I don't see them getting tangled up. If they do get tangled up, they do sell, if you go to the marine store, where they sell boat supplies. They sell these little, they're, they're round, but you like spin them so they're, they open up. And then when you put your pole in there, it spins and locks them in. You could put those like across here and whatnot. You could even store these, like if your ceiling's low, my ceiling's not low. You know, you could put those this way, slide them in and then get those locks and lock them up. Cause that's where most boats have them up on the ceiling. You know, they don't just store them out in the elements. But yeah, I mean, the door closes, doesn't hit them, and they're out of the way. They're not getting tangled up anymore. So that's Dixon does it. All right, peace, y'all.